So the H-2A program in the U.S. is the temporary work visa for agricultural workers. It's a guest worker program that allows people to work in the U.S. for one month, three months, five months, nine months. It's not year-round. It's basically designed to serve seasonal harvesting in different parts of the country. Estos trabajadores tienen que hacer una entrevista, pasar un proceso en México o en sus países de origen donde ellos aplican para una visa temporal, entran al estado y trabajan por una temporada. Estos trabajadores vienen con un contrato definido de qué tanto van a trabajar, qué tanto van a ganar, los horarios, dónde van a vivir, su transporte y su comida. The grower has to pay a, a certain stipulated wage. They have to provide stated working conditions, residence, transportation. From the worker point of view, this is beneficial in principle at least, if it's enforced. It's not at all clear, in fact, that the current requirements are not met or they're only met minimally. Yo creo que el único beneficio es que, pues, no arriesgas tu vida cruzando la frontera. Pero la realidad es que no todos podemos aplicar para una visa y ya cuando estamos aquí creo que los retos son mucho más grandes para los trabajadores que vienen con visa. Tienes tu vida atada al trabajo, entonces los trabajadores siempre vamos a tener miedo este, a alzar nuestra voz contra los empleadores porque estos mismos nos pueden quitar la visa si reclamamos algo o exponemos el lugar de trabajo, si está haciendo abusos. Eso no, no funciona para los trabajadores. We've found and have a lot of concerns about the program as it is now, how it's monitored, how farm workers are treated, gives us a lot of concerns for it as a program. One of the realities in the H-2A program is that if you're granted a visa, someone has requested it, and you, either through a labor contractor or through the grower themselves specifically, you're employed for them at their location. You can't move to another farm. In that way, it feels a bit like servitude to a specific person. It's one of the reasons that I think the H-2A program sometimes is called a form of modern slavery because everything is subject to whoever you're working for. On the grower side, I think it is becoming more common because there, it is a systematic way to import workers without dealing with the issue of undocumented workers. The problem is always is that at base, this is a cost-driven system. Growers actually are in pretty small margin business, and so the temptation is always to cut costs, which means is always the temptation of moving into or sliding into exploitation. And for some people, it's not a slide; it's the way they operate. Muchas veces hemos encontrado que este sistema, en vez de funcionar en una forma positiva, eh, está dejando muchos trabajadores vulnerables a explotación laboral. The housing sometimes, sometimes the housing is great housing. It's or adequate. In other cases, it's just, it's terrible. In colder places, drafty buildings. In warmer places, buildings that are too hot to really have your body recuperate from field work in the summer, specifically. Sometimes the amount that they're charged for meals, but what they're actually served is is very little. Debe de haber soluciones reales para los trabajadores donde no estemos atados al trabajo, no dependamos de los empleadores, donde cada trabajador pueda ser libre, ¿verdad? Eh, como una visa te ata al trabajo y creo que debemos de, de crear un sistema de inmigración donde las personas pueden ser libres de decidir dónde vivir y dónde trabajar. Respect the workers and work out a program that is at least palatable to the growers and is workable to the worker organizations. Ideally, what we would like to see is farm workers who are able to work under circumstances of dignity, where they're paid reasonable wages, where their living and working conditions are good, where their bodies are safe. Lo que necesitamos es protección eh, de derechos. Necesitamos que hacer algo para mejorar el trato 
de estas personas porque al fin del día ellos son los que están poniendo la comida en nuestras mesas y cómo los tratamos de ellos habla mucho de cómo este país trata a su propia gente.